Hello guys, in this video I wanted to talk about hacker bases. Since it got very popular when LDO didn't have any hacker bases before, but after the 1.7.12 update, people started getting hacker bases. Way before it was hard to find a hacker's base because metal bases wasn't a thing in the game. Right now, in the current version 1.8.7, we have turrets, recyclers, dock crates, metal bases. All of that is now inside the game. And out the word metal bases, this is where the hackers come in. There's a lot of max bases with full metal bases. Now a lot of people are obsessed with hackers bases, metal bases. Everyone wants to get a hackers base, right? But now in this video, today, ladies and gents, I will tell you what Kefir haven't told you. You know when you finish tasks for the raid requests, and then you hope you get a good raid, and then you just end up with level 1 walls and other crap like that. That is going to end soon as long as you keep raiding and raiding non-stop. And after like 10 to 20 raids, you will start getting maxed out bases. That's the reason because in 1.8.6 update, devs wanted to fix raiding, but they screwed up. So in 1.8.7 update, they added metal bases and other new items that wasn't in the raid before. And now if you haven't raided yet, even a single time after 1.8.6 update, you will keep getting trash bases for 5 to 10 raids or such. Now let's talk about revenge raids. Revenge raids are mostly pretty good compared to the normal raids. Revenge raids might be random and it doesn't matter how many times you've raided in a 1.8.6 update. They will always be random, you can get level 1 walls, you can get maxed out base instantly even if you haven't raided yet. But revenge raids are simply the best of all, better than normal raids. And you don't want to miss out a revenge raid if you have a chance of getting one. Simply put one or two boxes outside of your base. Put some bait in it, and boom shakalaka, you will end up with a revenge raid in 1-3 to three hours. But make sure you put enough items in the boxes. Not just some crap, but not a lot to you. You don't need that much. Hacker bases slide in after you have raided a couple times in the game. Now a lot of people are triggered, they're mad, angry, blaming Kefir to fix raids. It's either they get a full metal base without a single level 1 or level 2 walls, or even a stone wall and they cannot even touch the base at all. Sure, if it has a spike trap, but you can't get inside without the metal cutter. And that was a bad move, Kefir. Why add metal bases, but no metal cutter? People are wasting their lives to raid, people spend time to complete tasks, their resources are being wasted for zones, bunker, etc. And they get a full metal base, which they can't even do anything in the raid itself. People are also being mad for not getting a decent raid. They just get a level 1 base with a couple boxes that you find 10% of zip guns, 5 bolts, etc. The raid isn't worth it. If you guys are raiding a full metal base and you find nothing but just empty boxes of trunks, small boxes, etc., the base is 100% a hacker's base. So don't get excited when you find a full metal base. Reason why, Kefir servers are now deleting the items that people have hacked into the game. For example, Billy downloaded a mod APK of LDO. He found the game interesting, he spawned himself a chopper, he got some steel plates, he cranked out himself a couple scars, and built himself a nice and cozy full metal base. But he forgot to build one wall as metal, so he left it stone. He cranked out a little bit of trunks in his base and split hacked 1000 steel plates. Now imagine, you're raiding Billy. Billy forgot to build that one wall, which is left a stone wall. He has a trunk of 1000 steel plates. Now guess what, you break it, you don't find them. Reason, because the global server deletes the items from the database. The player that hacked them in is client-sided. So nothing happens in the main server, it only happens locally for the player itself. So you now understand, why are you finding empty boxes in raids? Explanation is simple. Kefir servers are basically deleting the hacked items so people don't get advantage of this. Kefir never told us this, but it is true, all the players that hack in the game cannot give advantage to other players, and all of these hackers are getting placed into a private server instead of the main servers that there is. But yeah, the disadvantage of raiding a hacker's base, you sometimes might find a full metal base, which is unraidable without metal cutter. So you have nothing to do against that. Kefir needs to push out a update that brings us metal cutter. So as I said, don't get that excited raiding a hacker's base because all the trunks boxes you find will be empty. Sometimes you will find 20 Zulu cards or other stuff, but the reason why you find that is because either player hacked them in safely, so example servers didn't delete the items he hacked in and didn't spot how the items got into the server database, but the player hacked the items successfully by passing the server. 
that's very rare to happen so this is why you find 10 steel plates or maybe 20 zulu cards in the hackers raid but also there's another thing if a player is split hacking the server instantly deletes the full item stack he splits in his boxes and leaves it there if a player kills the big one with hacked items for example, if he spawns himself 10 glocks and kills the big one with 10 glocks, he's going to get one Zulu bunker card out of the big one's loot. That one Zulu bunker card isn't actually hacked. He got it legitimate, but if he split hacks it into 20 Zulu bunker cards, the item is going to be deleted from the server database. This is how it works folks, so that's simple explanation. For example, again guys, if he spawns himself 30 red tickets and opens that red box, those items are legitimate because the game spawns those items. As long as the player doesn't mess with the database and spawn himself 1 million red tickets or anything other than legitimate that wasn't done by the server, it means the item gets deleted from the server database. So only the actual legit items are from killing zombies, getting tickets, boxes, floppy disks, you know the drill, legitimate gameplay. So if he put it all those red box items in his boxes, you would actually get those items. But if he split hacked them or touched or hacked them again himself, you would not find those items in the raid. Because if you hack in the game, the item gets deleted from the server database. I hope you understand what I meant. That's why you find empty boxes in hacker bases, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Red, 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 red.